Do you own an iPad? Are you looking for a better way to keep it safe? If so, stay tuned till after the jump because we've got the iPad Defender from OtterBox. This episode of Gadget was brought to you by Adobe Systems, Gateway, Ergotron, the Jesuit Conference, and this guy. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm Father Robert Palliser of the Society of Jesus. It's a religious order of the Catholic Church. And this week we're taking a look at a way to protect your iPad that combines form with uber geek style. It's the OtterBox iPad Defender. The iPad Defender is a ruggedized case from OtterBox that offers extreme protection for your iPad 1 or 2. Out of the box, the Defender comes with everything you need to keep your iPad covered, protected, and clean. Otter includes a microfiber cleaning cloth, a screen protector with applicator, and the case itself. Applying the screen protector starts with a thorough cleaning of the iPad display with the microfiber cloth to remove any dust or fingerprints from the Gorilla Glass. The screen protector is then rolled onto the iPad and the included paddle is used to brush out air pockets or wrinkles. The case itself is 10 by 7.89 by less than an inch thick and 20 ounces for the iPad 1 version and 7.91 by 9.8 by 1.15 inches and 16 ounces for the iPad 2. The Defender protects your iPad with three layers of protection. The protection starts with a high-impact polycarbonate shell that snaps together around the iPad frame. The shell is form-fitting snug enough to feel solid with no movement between the case and the iPad. The second layer of protection is a dense silicone skin that wraps around the polycarbonate shell. The skin is stretched into position and held in place by a series of mounting posts that grab the silicone gasket. The skin is textured towards the sides of the case, giving you additional grip while holding the Defender-clad iPad. The Defender's final layer of protection is the polycarb cover that snaps to either side of the Defender. This keeps the screen safe during transport or gives additional drop protection while the iPad is in use. The cover also includes silicone feet and a fold-out mechanism that allows it to double as a stand for your Defender-protected iPad. Once in the case, your iPad remains fully functional and capable. All the buttons, switches, and ports are accessible when they're needed and protected when they're not. The Defender incorporates a removable docking cover at the bottom of the case. The design of this docking cover is important because rather than just revealing the docking port itself, the entire panel slides out to allow you to use your iPad in most docking stations with the Defender still on. A Defender-protected iPad feels good, with plenty of grip and not much weight or bulk added. The Defender raises the iPad screen from its normal flush position, so laying it on its face doesn't lead to scratches or scrapes, and the design of the back of the case allows a Defender-clad iPad to be comfortably gripped by a single hand. Like all other Auto Defender cases, the iPad Defender gives its device plenty of shock protection while offering a geek chic look and feel. In all, the Otter iPad Defender is a well-designed case that offers some of the best protection possible for your iPad 1 or 2, while also adding additional functionality through its innovative grip and stand. You can find the Defender for between $30 to $60, depending on which iPad you need to protect. It should come as no surprise that uh, I am a fan of this iPad Defender, because I've really enjoyed using the Defender for my iPhone 3GS. Over the last year or so, this thing has been, well, invaluable. It survived a fall out of a moving car. It's been tossed around. It's been scratched without damaging the iPhone inside. And that just speaks to the strength and the design of the Defender series in general. Looking at the Defender for iPad, there's a lot that they've carried over. I really like the fact that you've got this rubberized surface that, well, First, it keeps it kind of clean, but secondly, it gives you something to grip onto. It just feels good in your hand. I especially like the fact that they have this little cutout. And that's not just how you can see the Apple, but it's so that when you're holding it with one hand, you, you actually have something to grip onto. I mean, it really is possible to use this as a stand-up tablet rather than something that you always feel like you have to keep two hands on, otherwise it'll slip out. That's not to say that there aren't a few things that I would like to see improved in the next version. The first thing has to be this cover. While, while I love the concept, I love having this stand that uh, just flips out really nice and easily, it doesn't forgive the fact that this is kind of bulky. I wish there was a better mechanism for either flipping this thing back or maybe thinning this out because when, well, when you flip it in the back, it just adds a bit of bulk. You, you lose some of the grip and that's just not cool. I mean, most of the time, what you're probably going to end up doing is removing the cover altogether and just leaving it in the bag or leaving it on the table while you're using the iPad, and that kind of defeats the purpose. 
The other thing that is a drawback is the screen protector. And this is not specifically about the Defender because this is true for any protector. You're going to find that it's going to bubble. I mean, when they, when they come up with a screen application that won't bubble, that won't mar the screen, that won't leave it a little bit distorted as far as the visuals are concerned, then they'll make a, a mint. But in this case, I've, I've actually taken it off because I couldn't stand seeing all the little air pockets underneath. Beyond that, this is a solid product, and like my iPhone 3GS Defender, it's something that I know I'm going to keep on my iPad because, well, I like my iPad. I, I want to keep it around. I want to keep it scratch-free. I want to make sure that it's not going to get marred up because I care about those things. Now, if you care about that, and if you are looking for a little extra protection for your iPad, then you need to check out the Otter iPad Defender. You can go to the website at www.otterbox.com to find out more information about this, uh, this case or any of the other cases in their line of protective gear. Or if you want to see how we've used it, drop by our website at thetechstop.net. While you're visiting, why not sign up for our Twitter feed at www.twitter.com forward slash Padre SJ. And for you junkies out there, please help us out by clicking the little subscribe button up top just so we know that you're watching. I'm Father Robert Ballos here, and remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.